Thank you very much, uh, Interpol. I've got a um, request from another stakeholder, RSIS. Uh, two minutes, because we are getting closer to uh, the time limit for interpreters. RSIS, two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. From Rajaratnam School of International Studies in Singapore, we agree with the experts and the delegates that AI and cyber threats have a compl complex relationship because AI can greatly enhance threats but can also greatly benefit mankind. So we suggest that, as some of the others have said, Developing global governance and regulatory mechanisms would exceed the scope of this OEWG and better fit the other fora. And however, it is important for the work of this OEWG and the mandate that states understand the impact where applicable of AI on the mandate of this OEWG, such as the A impact of AI on the application of international law, the rules and norms of behavior, and confidence building measures. So for example, should AI be a critical infrastructure to be protected and to be excluded from attack. So we recognize that many states will need capacity building, and we propose that a study group where stakeholders can provide expertise on the impact of AI on the mandate of the OEWG may be needed. This may not be able to conclude within the timeline of this OEWG, but should start now because AI is already having an impact on cyber threats. At the very least, if a study group is not possible, we encourage states and regions to engage with stakeholders who can provide the expertise and assist with capacity building, such as RSIS. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much, uh, RSIS, for your comments. Russian Federation.